season shakes hands with reality. America's first competition talk show. The hub is engaging. Talk life. Okay, welcome to the hub, Joel Aaron. Uh, uh, glad to have you aboard for the program all week long. Damon is on the panel as well as Tom and Jared, and you can vote on whether Damon or Tom won the face-off debate last Wednesday. Go back to Wednesday's show, listen to the debate, post your comments in the uh, comment section of the YouTube video, and we will tell you the winner on tomorrow's show. You've already stumped for yourself, not again. <laughs> Here's the, qu- the thing I got right now. We got a problem in this country right now because folks are dying. Because they cannot, and, and seriously, folks are dying because they cannot get the organ for the organ transplant that they need. Because even though uh, somewhere around 70 to 80% of, uh, of those polled in, uh, in polls about this issue agree with the idea of becoming an organ donor, very, very few do, like one in seven actually do. Mm-hmm. And it's going to get worse because under Obama's new health care, uh, you know, organs are going to be taxed through the new beats per minute fee, <laughs> which um, basically it, it incentivizes good health, if you think about it, because if your resting heart rate goes down, your your Fed beat tax goes down. <laughs> so that you know, I mean, there's there's a, there's a policy here. There's something they tax really haven't heartbeats. found when they looked at their initial views of the bill. These are the kind of things that come out later. Now, the question I really have is with the, with the organ issue. Um, why do people? I mean, why is there this disconnect? Why do people say yes? That's a great idea. I would love to do that. I believe in that. I believe in saving people's lives. And when it comes right down to it, they don't. They won't. Jerry, you know, uh, uh, well, was, Tom, Tom, I, what, Tom. You know, what I was going to say is that there's a fear that if you're son of her as an organ donor, that when you're there and you're you know injured, and there's a rich guy who's who's there waiting for an organ, they're saying, you know what, we're just not going to work that hard on him because his his organs should go to the rich guy. Uh, Okay, so there you go. So, so it's basically like it's, it's, it's based on wealth. They're discriminating yeah, against yeah, that's wealth. The argument against, that's the argument Jared? against allowing people to sell their organs, though, which I think you should be able to sell your organs. But You can get a pretty the, penny on credit. Uh, you know, there's no reason for a kidney shortage in this country because everybody has two and everybody can survive on one. So if you allowed people to sell kidneys, there would never be anybody in need of a kidney. But you increase your risk of death by kidney failure by 50%. Every time you do that, it's scary. <laughs> <David>. <laughs> Listen, I, yeah, I think the, the reason why people, I think uh, you brought up an excellent point, the reason why people say they want to give their organs but end up never doing, for that very same reason, they, they're afraid that a physician will give them less care in anticipation of wanting to harvest that organ and give it to somebody else who's more worthy of that particular organ. So, so there's a perception issue. Yeah. That, that's why they don't do it. Um, and it's really unfortunate because, as you said, there's a, there's a strong need out for organs. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and there's a, they're, they're planning to address this right now in New York State because uh, the assemblyman uh, Richard Brodsky is in Albany, New York, and he's putting forth a piece of legislation after his daughter nearly died twice in the last six, seven years because of kidney failure. Um, I believe it was, uh, yeah, kidney, needing a kidney transplant, that uh, he's putting forth this legislation where every member, every resident of New York State has to donate an organ, has to be on the, on the organ donor list when they die. So good idea, bad idea. Is this bad a mandatory idea. thing? Bad, bad idea, idea bad Dan. Idea. Heartless wretch. Tell <laughs> yeah, me why. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to force anyone to give something that they don't want to give. It's just that simple. I mean, you don't force anybody to give away their old cars. You don't force anybody to give because they're done with them. You don't force somebody to give away their houses if they're done with them. Why would you force someone to give the organs? It's all about heart, man. I mean, that, 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 that's an american you, You're just heartless. <laughs> <laughs> you would, he would you be could. if he were an organ donor. Right. Confiscatory, right. confiscatory is, why does, why does anybody, organ tax. That, uh, that's the name of the game in socialism, though, is take from those who have and give to those who don't. And, and it's take Marx from them this. and... Don't, and not let them give it. And that, that's the problem with this. The, and, yeah, I, I'm completely against this as well because the, the, the dirty little thing in this is that it's sort of just a, okay, if you live in the state of New York, you're a donor. And you have to actually go and try to, um, and to opt out of the stupid thing. If it was something where if you went, to the, you went and got your driver's license and you were automatically yes, but they asked you and you could say no at that point in time, then it would say, okay, whatever. Um, but this is sort of, this has nothing to do with you go to your, you do it on your license. There's no document you yeah. fill out. There's nothing you do except for you what exist if, in well, the state of New York. And, Tom, and how quickly do we go from you can opt out to you can no longer opt out? Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and what about, what about uh, siblings stepping in to make the decision for a parent who's beyond the point of being able 
to make the decision for themselves, like this Emily Menendez, Melendez, who stepped in and made the decision for her 68-year-old mother. Mm -hmm. She lost her mom, and, and, and she you know, lives with three other people, but they made this decision. They're glad they did because, because as she puts it, uh, the thing about organ donor is we have the cure right now in our hand. That hands? That's sick, Hannibal. But, um, <laughs> the, the, but the, the point is I'm trying to be serious here. The point is I'm trying to be serious. Um, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I want to get back to the earlier point you said Let's about, talk about selling oil organs. spills. <laughs> selling <laughs> organs. You really believe that we should get into the game of selling organs? You know how I, dangerous that is? I, I believe if, if you're the one that profits from it, if it goes to your estate, not the doctors. The doctors should be, not be able to profit we off are of going selling to an have organ. Have you create a marching. It's, your, it's your property. I, now you, but you want to you increase crime? To tell them your your heart can go for ten grand. <laughs> now, Every you walk out of the theater, you're going to end up on in a puddle. I'm of not blood talking about. Yeah, I'm not talking about some guy can roll in and be like, "Hey, man, I got two kidneys. You need a kidney. You need a kidney. I got." But a that's kidney. what Come you're going to get. Offer. No, what I'm saying is, is that I'm saying, "Hey, man, I've got two kidneys." People are going to be doing someone. kidney removal in the not, car in the parking lot. Exactly. Not Tom again. shows up and he's got two <laughs> kidneys in him and two more in a bag. That's not what I'm talking. But but that's but you know that that's what's going to happen though. No, because whenever whenever you create a market, yes, you would. Whenever you create a market, no that you're going to create a black market. Understand that. That's Whenever you create a black market. Yes. That's a good one. Wow. It's got to be. Well, it's got to be. Man. Right. Yeah. So and anyway, with, the with, one, with, one <laughs> minute, with one minute left to go, um, how do we save the planet? Because our entire southern coast is about to be just <laughs> blah um, because we couldn't clean up the oil spill in time. Um, do we, do, you know, is, is Obama Captain Planet or did he not learn any lessons from Hurricane <laughs> Katrina and, uh, and, and uh, a book? Well, if he was Captain Planet, he would have lowered the seas already. That's that's right. We would be protecting that's right. the beaches as Walked we that's right. see, but Listen, we done that. You, you, can't, you can't fault the president for this one. I'm sorry. I, I'm not, you know, I didn't vote for the guy, but you can't fault the guy. It was an oil spool. He wasn't there. He had nothing to do with it. You can't, you can't fault the, He had nothing to do with it. Because see, I have but a theory his, that he was his administration. Now, yeah, if Ronald <laughs> you know, Emanuel but, planted but here's, the bomb, then we would go back and check that. But I'm you, with you on that. You know, it was, it was Harry S. Truman who had the sign on his desk, the buck stops here, that you know, that he would take the blame no matter whether it was his fault or not. And now we, we kind of like, oh, it's not my fault. I was on on day one. No, I mean, it's BP's the fault. But, the, I mean, there you go. Well, it's BP's the, fault. <laughs> BP owns it. In the there you go. It was, it was their exactly fault. Made the buck it was their fault. The it was their fault. But what did the Coast Guard do? They put out the fire instead of letting the fire consume the oil and took yeah, it to the Yeah, okay. So that was government okay. screwing uh, it up. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't a standard no, operating man. procedure because the fail safe was supposed to catch. And yeah. the fail safe that we all know is not so yeah. fail safe. <laughs> but that, that's the issue there is that it, it's something bigger happened than we could expect it. Of but you drill more in Anwar, we'd piss off a bunch of caribou, but we'd be happier. We still have our southern coast. It wouldn't be as big a mess. Sarah Palin is not as dumb as we thought she was. Tina Fey. See you tomorrow on the Hub. Love.